everybody, welcome back to our fourth-ish episode of Thumb Therapy. I cannot believe we've made yeah. it this far. Again. This week we are finally reaching our grand finale of Retro Reviews with 2018. Uh, yay! Woo! And, we're just still giving away a hat. Yeah. You know, just so you know. That thing that you wear on your head. Except for me, I don't wear hats. Yeah, like, comment, subscribe, Do share. Those. Do the things. Please. Please. Is that my hoodie? No. You mother... We need way more co-op games like this. Like, right now. Pretty decent game, but let's be honest here. The only reason it sold even half as decent as it did is because the creator got super drunk at E3 and made a complete fool of himself. Bravo, sir. And because the gameplay was revolutionary. most daunting map I've seen in quite some time. Let's do this. So we can make choices in historical events. That must be really impactful. Hey Jade Raymond, look what you started. We're back. Pretty decent, but still better than COD. Do you wanna know what they call a battle royale in France besides the surrender? Royale with cheese. That joke was lame. They thought cutting the five hour campaign from the game and replacing with Battle Royale would work. And it didn't. We're gonna change one small mechanic and that will justify you spending $80 on it this year. Beautiful raging platform glory. A beautiful platformer that can give Cuphead a rub for its money. Beauty. One of the most challenging platformers in years. Oh, the penises! Unless you're on console. Wait, they edited that? Yeah, they're censored on console. Oh man, I want to have like the biggest... If it was Jason Momoa's penis, this game would have sold. Someone thought that turning Conan into a Minecraft simulator was a good idea. And... They weren't entirely wrong, they were just mostly wrong. Best open world arcade racer we've seen in years. How I always envisioned cruising the USA was back in the arcade days. Mmm. Some good open world. Diddy Kong Racing 2? Is this still just an easy Devil May Zelda? Really wanted to like this, but just nowhere close to being as good as the first two. And when I say the first two, I really mean just the first one. I'm not gonna lie, I, I really, really hate these games. Like, so much. The only thing I liked about this is that we finally got a live-action Pokemon movie. Why is Pikachu being voiced by Danny DeVito? Fun game, though. Movie's better. He isn't, but that rumor should have come true. Heavy Rain is still by far the MVP, but this was a hell of a lot better than Beyond. Closer to the games you used to make, David, but still. Stop ruining video games, etc., etc. We've been over this before. Quantic Dream, go back to mysteries. Just stick with Digimon World. Come on, guys. You're better than this. Why are we still trying anything else? Both of you literally suck. Digimon World Next Order was garbage. This game was great. Take notes, Capcom. This is what Infinite should have been. Esports ready Dragon Ball game? It's about time. Still suck at fighting games. Todd Howard just going out of his way to take a massive dump in your RPG cornflakes. Role playing! <laughs> we got online connectivity. So most problems we assumed we'd have, we've had. Fallout 76! Yeah, I forgot I have to take a dump. Nothing like killing some Westboro Baptist Church people. God, it's just so good. That's a little ironic statement. 
scariest part about this game is that this could literally happen in the United States. Joseph Seed is one of the craziest, creepiest, most influential villains of 2018. Kevin Smith's Red State, the game. Best game ever. Thank you for keeping all those kids out of my M-rated games. Greater service than Facebook. Remember how this game was just a story mode? No. Thought so. So nice playing all my favorite games with empty servers. Thank you, Fortnite. Man, did they ever make up for Ascension. Whew. Best in the series by far. What a bloody good game. Some heartfelt storytelling in a greatly conceived game. Unfortunately, the combat system does not live up to the original by any stretch of the word, but still a good game. Nobody can outrun the briefcase. Nobody. I love any game with a heat-seeking briefcase. You weirdly got this, Square. You can't live up to my original expectations of Mario 64, and at this point, I don't think anyone ever will. These games have been the same for 20 years. They're great, but I don't want to pay 60 bucks. Or 80 bucks. There's a freaking story mode in this game. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. This game is still a lot of fun. But they technically fixed it. Yeah, I was about to say that. <laughs> Somehow better than Mighty Number no. 9, but it didn't really matter. Better than Mighty Number no. 9, but not by much. I didn't know that this was supposed to die when Mighty Number no. 9 did too, but hey, look at that. You did it. I mean, all I could ever ask of Konami at this point is to release Silent Hills, but we all know that's never going to happen, so Konami should just die at this point. Grave robbing? Seriously, Konami? Grave robbing? You've stooped this low, you pachinko Hey guys! I just finished beating this dead horse! Wanna come it? Gonna play a couple hours every night. 60 hours later. How did this happen? The Western world has waited so long for this! <gasps> so many dinosaurs! I mean monsters! I mean, yay! Why are we selling cardboard to children for a hundred dollars? This is from seven years ago. I don't think Nintendo fans are so stupid they would buy a piece of cardboard. A box, on the other hand, that says Nintendo on it, they probably would. Remember when you were a kid and you get gifts, and when you were really little you would like the box better than the gift? That's how I think of Nintendo fanboys. I didn't say this, but that just sums up. Affordable peripherals that stimulate imagination and growth. <laughs> How much? <sighs> Not as good as the first. Doubt Jilly had much to do with this one though. A drop down in quality, but still a pretty decent game. Phenomenal artwork, just not as good as the first game. An incoherent RPG story that isn't connected very well, but somehow amazing and sold incredibly well, but also very limited in Canada. Nintendo, the hell. If Final Fantasy went back to this style of game, I would be really happy. Old English is not spokeneth, this wayeth. I was looking so forward to this, and then it was so bad on PC that it got cancelled for console release. Duke Nukem Forever 2! Well, that was overkill. Ah! Ah! Alright, this one was weird. I don't want to play a shitty campaign just to get to the features an actual Pokemon player wants to play. If Pokemon could get any more geared towards children, this is it! What the hell did you guys do to Pokemon? Those damn old Driscoll's getting damn dirt in my eyes. I'm not crying. You're crying. Boy. No spoiler, no, 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 no. I'm waiting for the PC. Just let me know when it comes out. Another game that is slowly killing the pre-order industry of video games. Bravo. 
If you have a willing and able crew, it's honestly an awesome game. You tried. I mean, you failed, but you tried. Here's hoping Skull and Bones takes this. A good conclusion to our modern Lara. Better than the second one, but still not game-changing for the franchise. Let's just be uncharted, and instead of focusing on the good stuff, let's just focus on all the stupid crap. And also end it. Some of the most disturbing creative characters I've ever seen. Eesh. This game gave me nightmares. Not because of the character nightmare, no. But because of the character creation system. That stuff is horrifying. <laughs> Best creation system ever. <laughs> Uh. Hands down one of the best representations of Spider-Man in a video game in years! Good web swinging, good storytelling, some shocking twists and turns. Stealth sucked though, it was way too easy. We finally have something to match Spider-Man 2 in quality. The Dimension series came close. Game of the year. The best Spider-Man game I've ever played, and really excited for the extended universe to roll out whenever Square Enix wants to show us more on their Avengers project. Perfect. Just perfect. First PlayStation game I ever owned. This brought me back to my childhood so hard. Yes! They did not screw it up like they did Crash, but even then, that was still a good game. They really shouldn't have tried to bring back the Toys Life era, but the starter kit for Switch alone is worth it. The closest thing we're gonna get to a Star Fox game on Switch, I guess. Stupid cash grab toy games. Toys to Life aren't dead? It's really a good game, but at this point it's honestly easier to play a game of D&D. The best Mario Parties in a long time. Like, actually creative games. Nintendo finally got things right and brought Mario Party back to its former glory. What are we doing? What a lot of people assumed was going to be really good like Bioshock Infinite, but it turned out more to be like Bioshock 2. I want to like this game a lot. Who's happy? It ain't me. This was so disappointing. Was The Rock on this year's cover? No. It was AJ Styles, you freaking jobber. You're a jobber, man. You're a jobber! Let's be honest, the only reason we are reviewing any of these WWE games is because Vander wanted to. We don't like sports games here. Finally, we've made it to the end, guys. You should know the routine by now, though. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit that little bell thing down there. Uh, we have a contest going on, too. It's for a hat, actually. It's a pretty cool hat, I guess. It's gonna be Theo's hat soon, if you guys don't make sure to go and like and subscribe and hit that little bell thingy. Uh, just get this thing out of here. Yeah, make sure you stay tuned for uh, some actual reviews from us as well. We're gonna be doing those soon, starting with actually. What else? Oh, we're doing Twitch now. We can stay tuned for Twitch, guys. Make sure to go follow Thumb Therapy Gaming on Twitch. Still something else, or and Facebook. There's Twitter, and that Instagram. We do a lot of things. Thumb Therapy Gaming. Check it out. You'll be able to find it. One of those ways. The end. We made it. <laughs> <laughs> Remember people, Carpal Tunnel is real. So don't forget to do your stretches. And always practice safe gaming. Relatively speaking. Was that good or do you want me to do it again? Well, that's WWE, I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's